How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? It's Mike from Pokétips Official, and today we're going to be talking about some brand new information that came out about the Pokémon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee versions for Nintendo Switch. Now, this information came out from an interview that Jinichi Masuda did with Eurogamer not too long ago, and it covers a lot of interesting things about the Nintendo Switch games that are coming out pretty soon in November. Also, I want to apologize about no face cam today. I really like doing the face cam thing, but right now I'm pretty sick, and you might not be able to tell from my voice, but I feel terrible and look terrible, so I decided that I'll spare you all, and today will not be a face cam day. Now, before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for this new exciting Pokemon news, and then let's jump right into the news, and I feel like Keemstar now. Now, for those of you that don't know, Jinichi Masuda is one of the big honchos at the Pokemon Company, and he's been working on the Pokemon games for a very very long time doing all sorts of things like producing and designing and is even the namesake of the Masuda method. So first off, what I found most interesting is we have more information, confirmed information, about the story of these games. When asked if the story was the same as it was in Pokemon Yellow, he went ahead and kind of answered the question by saying that the game world, the overworld, the whole map is very true to the original Pokemon Yellow games. Also, the story kind of sticks to the beats from Pokemon Yellow, and in saying that, we know that the story is not going to be directly the same as Pokemon Pokemon Yellow, but will have its similarities, and I'm kind of disappointed about this because I was really hoping that Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, even though we knew it wasn't going to be, would have a whole new story in them. I think it's great to be returning to the Kanto region, and it's even great to be going through the original story, but I feel like Kanto, you could do so much with it by just giving it a new storyline and some new characters. In addition, when he spoke about new and returning characters, he went on to say that that once again, all he could really answer at this time was that the games were based on Pokemon Yellow. So we don't know if we're going to see a post game with Looker or anything because he really wouldn't give us the answer right now. It is nice getting an answer from Masuda himself about the story of these games, but I would like to know a little bit more about it. From what I'm gathering right now, the story is going to be pretty similar to Pokemon Yellow, but have its differences, which obviously it will because the games are featuring Pokemon Go connectivity, you get to ride on all sorts of Pokemon, and there's even one or two new Pokemon in this game. So that's gonna be it for the story of these games, and now let's talk a little bit about what he said about the connectivity between the Let's Go versions for Switch and Pokemon Go on phones. Now this is something he was pretty clear and willing to talk about, so he said the connectivity was going to be very simple, it would use Bluetooth connection, and all you have to do is go in-game on the Let's Go versions and on Pokemon Go on your phone, and press a connect button, and the connection would be as simple as that. That. He told us that Pokemon can only go from Pokemon Go on your phones to the Switch versions. There's no two-way connectivity, there's no two-way travel, it's just from Pokemon Go to the Switch and then they're stuck there. Now once they're in the Switch version, you could go ahead and capture them again by going to a Pal Park-like area. So if you guys know about Pal Park from the Generation 4 games like Diamond and Pearl, this is going to be really familiar to you. Apparently there are going to be some special incentives to bring a lot of Pokemon over from Pokemon Go to to the Switch version, and also it will unlock some special mini games, which I'm pretty interested to see what these incentives are and what these mini games are, and hopefully they'll be fun. Something I would love to see, which I know they are definitely not doing, but something I would love to see is them bring back some of the mini games from the Pokeathlon into the Let's Go versions. I feel like those would be really cool mini games to have and give you a real good incentive to go ahead and just transfer Pokemon over. For the last part of the interview with Masuda, he went ahead and spoke about the success of Pokemon. Go and how it influenced these Let's Go games. As we all know, Pokemon Go was very successful. I think it had about 800 million downloads, which is what they said in the article. And when you have that type of audience, it's obviously not all going to be people that are familiar with the main series Pokemon games. So Masuda went on to say that the reason Let's Go are like this, where they're featuring a lot of Pokemon Go features, is so that the games feel more familiar to that audience. What the Pokemon Company is really trying to do right now is get some of that player base that played Pokemon Go for the first time to make the Switch over to the Nintendo Switch and get more involved in the world of Pokemon. And honestly, from a business point of view, it makes a lot of sense, and that's why they went ahead and announced that they're also releasing the Pokemon Switch version that we were all waiting for in 2019. Because they knew there was going to be a little bit of backlash about removing some of the features, so they really wanted to make every 
everybody happy on both sides. On the possibility of more games in the Pokemon Let's Go series, Masuda basically said that they'll base that on the success of these games. Right now they're focused on making these games successful and seeing how they do, and if they sell well, the Let's Go series will continue and parallel the main series of Pokemon games. So potentially if these games sell really well, we could have a lot more Pokemon games coming to the market all the time. We'll have the Let's Go series and then the main core series that we all know and love. Now for me personally, I'm just going to go ahead and wait and see, and then if I like the Let's Go games, then I might want some more in the future. But I think these games have a lot of potential to be very fun, and I'm definitely going to be going ahead and getting myself either one or both of the versions when they come out. Alright my friends, and that is basically all of the new information that we got out of this interview. It was a very good interview done by Eurogamer with Masuda, and I'd recommend you check it out and read it for yourself, which I'll link in the description below. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did remember to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video i took a big break from youtube and right now youtube isn't really notifying a lot of my subscribers that i'm uploading stuff i get comments each and every day saying whoa you've been uploading you've been uploading so make sure you have that notification bell rung because i plan on uploading a lot of awesome videos this summer and a really high quality pokemon production which i'm in the works on right now but I'll let you guys know a little bit more information about that when the release gets a little closer. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.